folks, thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be discussing one of the programs that are available to you through our organization to help address the additional financial needs that folks have when they encounter a critical illness uh, situation. We'll be discussing Cigna's Heart Attack and Stroke Program. Uh, we are uh, uh, very fond of the benefits and the system that is in place with Cigna for this program. We're experiencing a little bit of technical difficulty um, bringing our guest speaker on. Hopefully we have that resolved here very shortly, but we'll begin today's presentation rather than make you wait any longer and make certain that we have the information available to you. Uh, today's presentation is being recorded and it, along with material that we referenced throughout the course of the presentation, will be sent to everyone who expressed interest in today's webinar. We will be also sending a link to the recording and make certain that you have uh, the presentation itself, the slide deck itself with the statistics that are part of today's presentation. As a bit of housekeeping to start, and I thank uh, Ashley and some others who have entered in some information in the question section, that is an area where we ask you to put your questions to make certain that we address them. Normally we do through the course of the presentation, but we also want to make certain that we have uh, all of your questions answered, uh, if not by the end of the presentation, as part of the follow-up uh, that goes out by email to everyone. So check for that. It will come to you and make certain that uh, uh, you check your spam filter as well, because sometimes when we send out links with attachments, uh, it gets pulled into such filters. A bit of level set to start, when we look at our organization, if you're not as familiar with Premier Marketing as some others may be, we are a national marketing organization that was founded in 1968. We're part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country, and we act as an insurance wholesaler working through independent agents such as yourself to deliver products that satisfy the needs, in this particular instance, uh, directed at the Medicare population. We do so through contracts that are available at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. That portfolio of products, while today concentrates on an ancillary program, we do offer a full portfolio of Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement Plans, Part D prescription drug programs, but also a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, also long-term care and short-term care programs and disability income plans and ancillary benefits, the dental vision hearing programs, critical illness cancer plans, such as what we'll discuss today, and hospital indemnity programs, along with accident and a telehealth program that we rolled out yesterday uh, through MD Live. That Medicare Advantage portfolio includes the national carriers and many of the strong regional carriers that make a difference for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the standalone prescription drug plans where the national leaders are there for you through our organization. It's interesting to note that many times the, the contracting for this type of program is part of a Medicare Advantage contract as well. Some of the carriers also include Medicare supplements in that contract, or it may be a separate contract, but we have a robust portfolio of programs available for you in this area and specific support programs to help you be successful in this space within the Medicare community as well. When we speak of the ancillary products, such as what we'll discuss today, we look at the different categories that are available for you. You have the national leaders in each of those spaces. And of course, our guest speaker today with Aetna, oh, oh pardon me, that's Freudian, with Cigna will be available as well. And you see them as a leader in many of the different categories. When we look at the Medicare market overall, of course, everyone speaks to you, the silver tsunami, the aging of the baby boomers, one every 10 seconds turning 65, what, 
10,000 plus a day. If we're looking at it based just on age, however, we do see an exponential growth in this market, but we also have to realize that there's a portion of people who choose to delay accessing their Medicare benefits when they're first eligible and pick them up later. But that variation of that number of beneficiaries doesn't necessarily include the fact that we need to take into account the folks that are accessing Medicare benefits under the age of 65 because of a disability and programs such as today, the ancillary programs are a very natural fit for a lot of those folks because of course the age that someone needs to qualify for these doesn't necessarily mean they have to be 65. We do also have to make certain that the portfolio that we offer accounts for the different needs of the population that we're addressing. And that includes a Medicare population where, well, two thirds of the population has three plus chronic conditions and they have some budgetary constraints as well. So having programs that help them plan for what happens to most of us with healthcare circumstances can be very important to help them with whatever coverage they need. Pardon me. Wow. Pardon me, we lost ourselves there for a moment. Uh, with the different choices that they can make. Because people, when they come on to Medicare, they have different options. They can delay Part B or, or opt out of it, or they can take that and then add on simply a Part B prescription drug program to cover drug costs, or go another method, pick up a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement plan, or choose to integrate the coverages through a Part C program the Medicare Advantage programs. We're seeing a fairly even split on the choices as people come into Medicare. Those include the people that are aging in, the folks that are enrolling at a later time, or folks that are medically disabled. And we see a fairly even split, but in each of these cases, we need to make certain that we have programs that can help needs that may not be addressed with whatever choice they make. Because when we look at original Medicare only, that includes folks that are accessing care through the VA, people that have retirement programs, Medi Medis, Medicare Medicaid beneficiaries, or folks that are on just original Medicare. So having the portfolio that we need of products and carriers can make certain that we address this portion of uh, the choices that are necessary for these folks. And sometimes that requires a translation guide. So one of the things that you'll find is a acronym guide, a link to one that will be sent as part of the follow-up to today's presentation. We also need to take into account that the programs that are offered such as today, the ancillary programs, are not governed by the election periods that come into play for Medicare Advantage and PDP programs. We're all aware of the standard enrollment programs for most of us at this particular point in time. And while we're currently in OEP, that's basically a period where someone switches within the Medicare Advantage uh, community or back to original Medicare. So having this information along with the different special election periods that are available to individuals give us an opportunity to go through and approach people with an ancillary product and review their current coverage as well, because the majority of them don't do it annually. They need our help, they need that outreach, and they need that simply because many of them have some challenges with understanding their benefits, the current benefits, other options that are available to them, and possibly the need for ancillary products such as what we discussed today. So we wanna make certain that we are handling the population that we address in a sympathetic and yet thoughtful manner because they may need a bit of translation as to what is actually out there. And they're not using the resources for the most part that are put out there by the government even. So the plan finder isn't having some of the traffic that many may anticipate. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of people going to it, but on a percentage basis, you have people that aren't using some of the options that are out there so our role as an independent agent representing multiple carriers and coverages can be of great help to the folks that we visit. 
It's also a possibility in this circumstance that we address the under 65 population that aren't on Medicare as well, because we find many people that have taken out med base medical coverage through perhaps the ACA program, a Medicare sh or medical sharing program, or whatever, will perceive a distinct need for programs that address critical illness, cancer, heart attack, and stroke programs. This is one of the things that will come to you as part of the follow-up to today's presentation, this additional information. And one of the things that we find is if you have base coverages with an individual and you add additional products, well, the more products you have in the household, the better your retention, your persistency is higher. Not only are you better serving your prospects and clients, but you're also making certain that you're doing what you can to drive up your persistency and make certain that the products you have in the household stick. Keep in mind, they don't have to be with the same company. They just have to be with the same agent, you. We can go through and review the current coverages that people have with Medicare. They all receive the Medicare and You book every October, be it physically mailed to them or electronically. And of course, they can access the app that is out there that tells them what Medicare covers as well. And that actually helps us because it gives us uh, a reference point, as does some of the material that the government puts out there even on YouTube to verify the need for additional coverages. If they've just taken out a standalone prescription drug program, or if they have additional coverage in each of those circumstances, the need for additional dollars when they encounter a critical illness situation is paramount to their financial stability. They have just original Medicare going through and discussing the financial responsibility that an individual has as they go into a hospital for inpatient care. It's a really scary, sobering statistic. And you throw in some of the additional information as to what those hospital stays cost regardless, it's a huge difference in the perception that people have about programs such as what we discussed today. Because even if they have a Medicare supplement program, they may be eligible for the full gambit of choices that are available, the standardized, modernized choices. But if they've come on Medicare as of the first of last year, they have at best a program that at least requires them to pay one of the uh, deductibles up front. And so there are needs outside of the medical cost as well. So even with a Medicare supplement, it need exists for programs such as what we discussed today. When people have opted to take the Medicare Advantage programs, this can be of particular interest to those individuals because simply put, that a hospital stays where the folks run up the expenses to their maximum out of pocket. And one of the key reasons why someone goes in the hospital is because of a critical illness, uh, cancer, heart attack, or stroke. And we see that the Medicare Advantage plans, the out-of-pocket maximums have increased. And we saw a stressor on that, particularly in some of the PPO or POS programs where the out-of-network uh, limit is much higher than this, and we have an occurrence of a need for covering that gap within Medicare Advantage plans. And the group we address, for the most part, are the folks that are going into the hospitals most frequently. And so coverages such as today can really help because even in today's current situation, we have seen a number of admissions that are a cause for hospital stay because of these critical illness uh, determinants. And it is also a situation where that's also complicated by the pandemic that we're in as well. So having these additional dollars available can be very important because there's a whole bunch of other costs that are incurred outside of just the medical dollars that are being spent. And for folks that have had a family member or, or someone dear to them, that have fought cancer or are fighting cancer, they are fully cognizant of the fact that, boy, there are a whole bunch of expenses insurance, normal insurance doesn't cover. So having a program like today is very helpful and it can make a big difference. 
It's also important that we have the ability to offer these programs both in person, face-to-face, -face, or under virtual circumstances, or uh, under virtual circumstances. And that's really a key point for us because it allows us to deliver the information regardless of the person's preference as to how they get the information and how it's presented. So having the ability to pivot from an in-person presentation or virtual uh, presentation or vice versa, it's very important for us to have the systems in place that can help support that effort as well. And what we're seeing, of course, is the population we address, yeah, a lot of times folks say, well, it's Medicare, it's folks under six, over 65. That's a big portion of that population, obviously, but it is also a segment of our society that is becoming increasingly electronically savvy. And that helps us in many circumstances because we're not the only individuals that are reaching out to help people in this manner. We see all sorts of folks that are getting training from the delivery of healthcare benefits from their doctor, from their hospital, from their dentist. Uh, boy, you even have had and are continuing to have in many circumstances the delivery of faith-based messages uh, through electronic means as well. So we have a number of segments within our community that are actually being trained by the contacts they have in society to process things electronically. And so the need for programs such as today can make a huge difference. So folks, I wanna thank you for working through uh, today's presentation with us here today. We're at the, the point in time where you have a special privilege because we have a guest speaker with us from Cigna that's going to discuss their cancer, heart attack, and stroke plans. These are programs that are near and dear to my heart because personally and with some family of, uh, involved in these type of scenarios, this type of coverage is very crystal clear to me. And we wanna make certain that that same sort of perception is lent to you as well. So we brought in a, a great friend and a great presenter, our representative um, from Cigna, Mr. Jim Codney, who's the Regional Vice President of U.S. Individual Sales, and he's going to run through some of the advantages that we have in working with Cigna, and in particular with their uh, cancer, heart attack, and stroke program. So I am going to turn control over to Mr. Codney. There you go. And Jim, I changed pictures in one spot and didn't the other. I apologize for that. But uh, you have the helm, sir. All right, perfect. Thank you, John, and thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, today we're going to just uh, talk a little bit about our cancer, heart attack, and stroke. For those of you who have sort of been looking for new ways to integrate uh, different products in your portfolio, just so you know, this is our number one supplemental health uh, product that we have at Cigna. So other than our MedSup, it's our number one seller. And it's really because, and we'll get into this here in just a minute in the presentation, but because of the need for a product like this. But before we get too far deep in that, let's talk a little bit about Cigna. Um, I won't bore you with a lot of stuff about Cigna, but uh, just want to make sure you know what our mission is. It's really important, I, I believe, when you partner with a company to know what's important to them. And at Cigna, our mission is very simple. It's to improve the health, well-being, and peace of mind of those we serve by making healthcare simple, affordable, and predictable. That sounds well and good, but you may ask yourself, what are you guys doing to help uh, fulfill your mission? And, and I'm gonna put it in a nutshell. We're trying to help our customers live a more active, fulfilled life. Because when our clients are more active and they're uh, living that type of lifestyle, they're typically more healthy. When they're more healthy, that's great for them, right? Because they can get out, they can do things, they can visit family and friends and go do activities that otherwise they may not be able to do. 
but it's also good for us as a company because if they're healthier and more active, they uh, statistically usually are not making as many claims, especially on a product like this. And then it's good for you, our agents, because it, the, that uh, less claims, if that happens, helps us keep our product as competitive and affordable uh, as possible for a long time. So it works for everybody in, in the circle here. Let's talk about the company in general. I assume you've all heard of us, um, but just a few little tidbits off the screen that I like to highlight. You know, if you ever have a customer that's heard of us but is worried about claims paintability, please make sure they understand uh, financially, we are very stable. We're a Fortune 13 company. Um, so, you know, we've got plenty of money to pay any uh, claim that we need to pay. Um, a couple other things that I like to talk about is how fast we issue business. Usually on a product like this, it's two to three days uh, outside of AEP. We cannot do it same day because of uh, it's a lump sum benefit. So for Patriot Act type of stuff, we do not issue the same day, but typically two to three days max on this unless we're waiting on something. And we do pay commissions daily. So a great opportunity to earn some income and have that flowing on a steady basis. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the product from a 10,000 foot view before we get a little deeper. One of the things I like about products like this is this one's guaranteed renewable for life. So you can sell it in most states, 18 to 99 for new business. But as long as your client continues to pay the premium, it's guaranteed renewable for life. So you don't have to worry if they hit 80 or 85 or, or whatever. As long as they're paying the premium, they'll have the policy. So um, a little... Um, you know, peace of mind for them there. I'm going to get into all those riders here as we go through uh, the presentation, um, but it is important to know they can buy the policy in four different uh, uh, coverage types. So they can buy an individual, that makes sense, right? A couple, so that's a legal couple, um, and that covers either or of them. A uh, single parent, typically that covers children in the household up to the age of 26 in most states. And family, same thing, except that's obviously two people uh, um, in the household and covered children up to age 26 in most states. Uh, as far as lump sum benefits, they're anywhere between $5,000 and $75,000 in $1,000 increments. Now. I'm going to be really straightforward with you guys. Really, our wheelhouse is the lower end of that because of cost effectiveness for our clients. Typically, most of our cases are somewhere between five and twenty-five thousand dollars in lump sum benefit for our clients. Um, not to say you'll never sell a fifty or seventy-five thousand dollar case, but those are more what I call white elephants out there. Most of our clients are five to twenty-five thousand in coverage, just to cover some of the out-of-pocket stuff that they might run into. Um, this product does have simplified issue underwriting, so yes, no health questions. There's not a lot of gray area, but if there is, you can always speak to one of our underwriters. Uh, it's issue age rated, and we do not uh, rate for gender or tobacco use. The other thing we don't rate for is family history of, of cancer. Uh, so we don't ask family history. We only ask the health history of the insured uh, when they're applying. So it's a really nice, uh, pretty reasonably easy to apply for and qualify for a product. Now, if you're wondering if it's available in your state, uh, here's our state availability map. I'll touch on uh, the differences. So those three gray states of Idaho, Virginia, and New York, we currently do not have product. Uh, for those of you who sell in the great state of Idaho, uh, we are working to get the product back in there. There were some changes uh, with requirements, so we're reworking the product. I don't have a time frame, but that will be in there. Now, in uh, Wyoming, it's heart attack and stroke only. Uh, we do not currently have a cancer product available in Wyoming. So those are sort of the oddball states, for lack of a better term, as far as how the product is. Now, in the green states, we have our initial flexible choice product. 
And then in the dark blue, which is most of the country, we have our updated, what we call Flexible Choice 2.0. And as we go, I'll go over the differences, but it's really mainly what riders are available in those states between the green and the dark blue states. If you ever do have a question, let's say you aren't uh, don't have access to the webinar and aren't where you can call a marketer uh, and our friends at Premier, uh, this is available on our Agent View uh, website, which is our agent portal. You can go and look up product availability. Our product availability chart has every product and state and rider, um, so and we try and break it down by product. So this is what the page for flexible choice is gonna look like. So as you see, for example, Idaho does not have anything marked across the uh, row for Idaho, et cetera. So let's talk about the need. Uh, again, if you're new to this product or if you're thinking about getting in to selling a product like this, it's really important to, to believe in the need. So I'm gonna talk stats in a minute, but I do wanna digress and tell you um, you know, as as John so eloquently put, um, you know, he's unfortunately had to experience uh, some cancer with uh, either friends or family members. I've had too many a times. Uh, uh, one of my best friends has somebody that he loves and cares about that has cancer right now. Some of my other, one of my other friends has two family members with cancer. Um, you know. Guys, I, I will tell you, back before the pandemic, I used to be able to do this presentation in person. And I distinctly remember getting up on stage in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, in front of over 300 agents to do this presentation. And when I got to the need, I said, hey, guys, I'm going to make this easy. Um, if you have not been impacted by cancer, a loved one, friend, or family member, and you don't know anybody that's ever had cancer, raise your hand. Well, out of almost 350 people in the room, um, one agent raised her hand. I remember it uh, very clearly. Um, you know, she was to my left about two rows back, and I looked at her, and I, I said, are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm sure. I, nobody I know or care about has ever had cancer. And I said, you're the luckiest person in this room. Go buy a lottery ticket. Because, folks, you know, most of us have not only had one occurrence of somebody we care about had cancer or personally had cancer, but multiple. Um, if you look at just the stats of cancer, you know, 39% of men and 38% of women are going to be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. That's a stat from the American Cancer Society, folks. That is not a Cigna built stat to kind of scare you or your customers into this product. So over a third of us are going to be diagnosed with cancer in our lifetime. You know, in 2018, we spent $183 billion on cancer in the U.S. Well, 20 years from then, so 2035, it's projected to be over $246 billion with the B dollars. It's a huge amount of money. So as you're talking to your clients, you know, I, I think about our industry and what we're able to do and how fortunate we are. Um, and I think, man, sometimes if you're ever having struggles, maybe you just have to change the dial. And this is what I mean. For those of you who are struggling and think your job is to sell, let me give you a pearl of wisdom. You know, maybe it's the way you're looking at it. I look at our job like we're in a service industry, not a sales industry. Our job is to educate our clients of their risks and help them learn of opportunities to shield themselves and their loved ones from possible financial peril with an insurance product like, like we're talking about today. And when you do that, sales are a natural byproduct of that. So, you know, what a great opportunity if you're struggling um, to maybe look at it a different way or find uh, your way of looking at it. You know, when we talk about heart attack and stroke, every 40 seconds, somebody in the U.S. has a heart attack and also a stroke. And did you know stroke is the leading cause of disability in the U.S.? There's over 92 million people right now in the U.S. that are living with after effects of strokes. You know, that, those are some 
scary statistics right there, folks. But probably the one that is the scariest is the top middle one, that 69% of people in the U.S. cannot afford an unexpected $1,000 bill. Well, guys, can you imagine what would happen to them if instead of $1,000, now they're, they've got a loved one that they care about or themselves uh, are diagnosed with cancer or have a heart attack or a stroke? Instead of a thousand dollar bill, guys, imagine that 10, 20 times that easy uh, in out of pocket expenses, right? So, again, what a great opportunity to educate them about their uh, exposures and what we can do to mitigate that risk for a small uh, monthly premium. So, the the product, you know, when you think about what, what did people spend their benefit on? You know, you and I, if we were sitting in a room, uh, I'm writing on a whiteboard, these are probably the normal things we'd talk about, right? Hey, what, if your client had a, had a claim, what would they pay for? Oh, deductibles, co-pays, uh, maybe experimental treatments because most insurance does not cover that. Oh, they might be out of work, so they're going to have to pay some for their house, their utilities, groceries, et cetera. But I'm going to give you something that I think is pretty awesome that we do. Cigna does not care what your client uses their benefit for, and I mean that in a very caring way. All the benefits for this product is paid directly to the insured or if they passed away to the beneficiary. So let's say they wanted to do something different. You know, I heard from an agent when I was talking uh, to a small group, uh, um, you know, about a year and a half ago now um, about this. I, I said, do, do these uh, expenses, that's pretty much what your clients would do. And um, somebody raised their hand and they said, well, yeah, absolutely. But I had a different experience. Um, she had actually had a client that was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And instead of spending the money on bills or traditional things that you and I would have thought of, uh, they had all that covered. Uh, so what they chose to use the benefit for, for uh, was a celebration of life trip for their family, you know, so they could celebrate the the life of the person who was just recently diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer. So I only tell you that to say that we do not uh, pigeonhole what the money can be used for. Again, we cut the check to the insured or to the beneficiary. Let's talk about positioning. Man, I, I, you know, I think this slide is great if you don't know much about these products, but I think who doesn't need a product like this, right? Everybody that I know, uh, if we talk insurance, we talk about uh, cancer, heart attack, and, and stroke product because it's so, so invasive to what can, ha pardon me, what can hurt or even financially cripple uh, a family. So, you know, I think anybody, young kids, uh, if you've got young kids, if you're a single person, if they're a retired couple, um, anybody who can get this product, um, man, why wouldn't you? So let's talk a little bit more about the product in detail. It can be sold one of three ways. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the base. Most people sell the cancer as the base. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, if you choose cancer or heart attack and stroke. If you do that, then if you want that standalone, that's easy, but it, it can be sold one of three ways. Like I said, cancer standalone, heart attack and stroke standalone, or cancer, heart attack, and stroke together. And when it's sold together, that's when you really need to pick the base policy, right? Um, but it doesn't matter, again, which one you pick. Uh, the the rates and the underwriting work exactly the same way. They're just separate buckets of money. So let's talk about how our cancer works. I think our cancer uh, coverage works as easy as can be. All you do is you tell your client, Cigna covers any internal cancer at 100% of the benefit at first diagnosis. So what's not covered? Topical skin cancer is not covered by this policy. Anything that is uh, called internal cancer by a physician is covered at 100% of the benefit, including carcinoma in situ, which believe it or not, there are still carriers out there that only cover that at 25% of the benefit. 
So you don't have to worry about that exclusion with your clients. You can look them in the eye or if you're talking to them over the phone, you know, you just say, hey, any internal cancer, you get it as soon as it's diagnosed. Pardon me, as soon as it is diagnosed, give me a call. I'll help you fill out the claims form. We'll get it to Cigna. They're going to pay you the benefit based on first diagnosis. So it's really easy to uh, explain. You don't have to have them sign an exclusion or a reduction of coverage form for carcinoma in situ or anything to cover yourself down the road. Now, here's how our heart attack and stroke works. We're so little different, so I'm going to take a minute and really try and go through this and make sure it's clear. If your client has a heart attack or is told they need a heart transplant by a physician or a medical professional, we're going to pay the benefit right away 100%. For a stroke, they have to have lingering effects for at least 30 days for them to uh, get the stroke benefit. Now, as I told you earlier, there's about 92 million people in the U.S. today that are living with after effects of stroke. So that's very common. It's also common uh, for that requirement on a product like this. So if you're going, wow, that's rough. Um, yeah, most other companies, they either require 30 or 60 days of uh, the stroke persisting for the benefit to pay out. So very normal, um, but we do some other things that I think are, are really great. We accelerate benefits for things like coronary artery bypass surgery, aortic surgery, heart valve repair or replacement, angioplasties and stents. Those first three will accelerate 25% of the benefit and the last two up to 10% of the benefit. So here's how that works. I'm gonna use, uh, easy round numbers so the math is simple, but let's say you sell your client a $10,000 heart attack and stroke benefit. They go to the cardiologist. The cardiologist says, you need aortic surgery. Well, they're going to give you a call typically to help them fill out the claims form. You're going to help fill it out and send it to us. Once we verify that that is what they're uh, needing, we're going to accelerate 2500 of that $10,000 benefit directly to the insured. We're going to reserve the other 75% or 7500 in this example in case they ever have what I call one of the big three, those top three on the list. Um, now, it is important to note, well, we will accelerate. We will only accelerate once in a customer's lifetime. So keep that in mind. But I think it's a great way. You know, what what we do there is we try and pay some of the uh, benefits so they can maybe avoid a heart attack, heart transplant, or stroke with those lingering effects for at least 30 days in the future. So here's where the difference in the states uh, come in. Um, so if you were in a green uh, state on the map, you would only be able to sell the uh, left side, those lighter blue. Uh, now, if you're in the dark blue, which is most of the country, you can sell both sides. Uh, so simply that's the difference. Again, we'll talk about these more in detail. I told you I'd split them up and, and just tell you what the difference in the map is. Now, keep in mind, Wyoming uh, agents, uh, you can only sell heart attack and stroke. Uh, we do not comp uh, currently offer a cancer policy. So we're going to get into the riders now. Uh, the first riders I like to talk about is our recurrence and restoration riders. Don't let the names confuse you. They work exactly the same way. Recurrence is the cancer uh, rider and restoration is on heart. But basically what these do is they make the policy not a one and done for that bucket of money. So let's say your client has a cancer recurrence benefit. They get, uh, they buy the policy and then they get diagnosed with internal cancer. Well, after two years of diagnosis and treatment, um, they've got to be clear of their diagnosis and treatment for at least two years. That policy is going to be built up 25%. At five years, 75%, and at 10 years, 100%. Now, Restoration works exactly the same way again on heart attack and stroke. I've been asked, why would you do this? Why would you add these uh, to a policy? 
Well, let me put it in perspective. For a 65-year-old, the cancer recurrence benefit on a $5,000 cancer benefit is about $2.60 a month. So it's just over $5 for a $10,000 benefit at 65 years old. Okay, so your client, unfortunately, at over 65, gets diagnosed with cancer. We pay out the full benefit. Now we're starting the clock again. Guess what, guys? Two things. First of all, diseases like cancer, cardiovascular disease, et cetera, they don't wait for our timelines. They don't say, wait, why don't we wait five years to to invade the body again so Jim can get a new fresh policy. Uh, the other good thing about this is they're still paying the rates of the of from when they bought the policy, the issue age, okay? As you all know as insurance professionals, the rate slope gets increasingly more steep as our clients age. So it's more affordable for them. It still keeps within the budget that they set whenever they originally bought the policy. Um, so I, I think it's a great thing. Why wouldn't you add this? We we sell a lot of reoccurrence and restoration on our policies for those reasons. So we have some hospital and ICU riders. So we have a regular hospital indemnity rider, as you see, uh, $100 to $1,000 a day. Uh, we have the ICU rider that works exactly the same way. And then we have a combo rider. So instead of sewing the uh, hospital indemnity rider and the ICU rider separately. If your client wants both, you sell them that combo rider, the hospital and ICU indemnity rider. And what that does is it gives them coverage for both. And when you do that, let's say they pick uh, $100 a day. They're just picking the base daily amount. Well, if they're combined in the ICU, that that uh, coverage is doubled. So whatever you pick on the um, combo rider, that base uh, benefit is doubled if they're um, inpatient in the ICU. Now here's how our return on premium works. Uh, I really love this, um, especially as we're talking to accountant-minded, engineering-minded uh, type of clients who are trying to do raw numbers, right? Hey, you know, I'm looking at what I'm going to outlay in premium over time versus what I'm going to get back. And then what if I die and I never have, insert here, right, cancer, heart attack and stroke, et cetera. Well, that's exactly when you talk about our ROP rider. Now, it is important to note this is an at-death rider. It's not an, I changed my mind two, three, five years down the road. This is an at-death rider. But if your client really wants to know what what's going to happen if I die and never make a claim, you know, some of our are going to think, you know, big uh, business Cigna is going to take my money for the next however many years, and then I'm going to die and have wasted all that money. No, just tell them the ROP rider, because the way it works is at death, if they've paid more in premium than we've paid in claims, and yes, they could have even made a claim like the example on your screen, we're going to reimburse the difference in uh, premium to the beneficiary. So worst case scenario, they get diagnosed with uh, cancer or have, have a need for the heart attack and stroke benefit, and you're there for them, right? You sold them a policy that's going to help financially when they probably need it most. Best case scenario, they never need it, folks. And now they've left a, sort of a legacy gift to somebody they love, their beneficiary, right? All those premiums that they would have paid over the years, now Cigna is going to pay back minus any claims paid to their beneficiary. So they cannot lose. It's a great rider to sell. Now here's where we get into the new rider. So this again is the 2.0 version. So that those of you who can sell in the dark blue, uh, our benefit builder is really a rider that we think is, is really unique, especially on this type of product. You know, because what you can do is you can have your client can add either a thousand or five hundred dollar growth to their benefit every year. 
And that grows for up to 35 years, folks. So I liken it to an inflation rider. Uh, even though this is not tied to a specific interest rate, it helps offset the increased out-of-pocket costs that they may experience in the future. So this is how I would have the conversation with the client and obviously make it your own. Um, but I would say, you know, Mr. Jones, if you got diagnosed with cancer today, do you think it cost you more out of pocket than it would have 15, 20 years ago? Well, typically Mr. Jones is going to say, of course, everything costs more out of pocket today than it did then. And then I would say, well, based on your response, is it reasonable to assume that if you get diagnosed with cancer in 15, 20, 30 years, it's going to cost you more out of pocket than it would have today? You know, and when he says yes, that's a great opportunity to talk about Benefit Builder, right? Because what you're doing is they're buying a base policy just like they normally would, but for a very, for pennies on the dollar, now they're adding that growth that again grows for up to 35 years. So it's a great opportunity uh, for your clients to over time get a lot more coverage for a lot less than they might have paid. Typically the break even point is about five years. Um, and then the other thing it does for you is it makes these policies harder to replace down the road. Because if somebody comes in in 10 years, they might be able to, if, if uh, Company X comes in the market and gets really aggressive, they might be able to uh, save two, three bucks a month on that $20,000 policy. But in 10 years, now that's a $30,000 benefit policy. It's going to be harder for anybody to replace down the road. So I think it's a great option to talk to our clients about. Um, I don't know any other company on the market today that has a lump sum cancer, heart attack, and stroke that has that type of rider. Next, we're going to talk about radiation and chemo benefit, especially, folks, if you are talking to a client on MA, Medicare Advantage, because of the, uh, you know, the responsibilities uh, with radiation and chemo of a Medicare Advantage, I strongly suggest you highlight this rider. But really, folks, even if your client's on traditional health insurance, if they're on Medicare supplement, man, there's so much out of pocket that happens. I'd still strongly suggest you go over this uh, rider with them. As you see, we've got three different um, benefit amounts. We've got Prime, Advantage, and Supreme. It's your old good, better, best. Um, obviously, as you go up, the coverage goes up and the premium goes up slightly. But we have coverage for things like immunotherapy, uh, different chemotherapies, anti-nausea drugs, radiation. We even have some coverage for ex experimental treatment for cancer. Now that covers up to 30 days and must be NCI approved, but really nice because for those of you, especially in the Medicare market, but really in most uh, insurance plans don't cover anything experimental, right? So it gives your client the option of uh, doing that uh, and having some coverage for that. Here's our specified disease critical illness rider. I love this rider because of what it covers and the affordability. So this is a lump sum rider, just like the cancer benefit and the heart attack and stroke benefit. This goes anywhere from five to 50,000 and is available for uh, clients 18 to 74. Um, and here's how it works. It covers ALS, which is commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease, coma and sejrenal, major organ transplants, MS, paralysis, loss of sight, hearing or speech, and severe burns. Those are all covered at 100% of the selected benefit. You might notice I skipped Alzheimer's dementia, and I did for a reason. Um, that is available and part of the covered conditions, but it is covered at 50% of the benefit. Now, folks, initially, I thought that was, that was kind of not a great thing, but I'm going to be really honest. I talked to uh, people about this in, internally, and I said, why are we only covering that 
at 50%. And it's because of how common, unfortunately, diagnoses of Alzheimer's dementia is. So really, frankly, to me, it seems like the choice was either have it at a lesser benefit or not have it covered at all. And I'll take it at a 50% benefit all day. Now, to give you guys an idea, again, I work a lot in the senior market, so most of my examples for rates are uh, are seniors, but a 65-year-old with a $5,000 lump sum benefit for our specified disease, critical illness rider, you're talking about $1.62 a month. So if your client goes to Starbucks once a week, you know, maybe they can get the medium instead of the Trenta. Um, and, and they can afford a $5,000 uh, specified disease rider. So um, really good option, especially because of how affordable it is. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's been an interesting uh, thing. My computer was just kicking out. But we're now back in the – we're to our last rider. It's our fixed indemnity accident rider. As you can see, it's set up very similar to how the radiation and chemo was. Um, prime advantage and supreme options. You know, this especially for, for your active people, you know, the people that we're trying to promote uh, with uh, our healthy living initiatives. Um, you know, unfortunately, accidents then happen sometimes. Uh, did you know the number one cause of ER visits in the U.S. every year is slips and falls? And not just on ice or water or people, you know, all kinds of slips and falls. So as you see, this gives coverage for uh, dislocations of hips, fractures, concussions, ER visits and urgent care visits, x-rays, ambulance, etc. Really good rider, especially again for those active families that you uh, may work with. Here's some sample rates. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these just because I know you guys can read. But this example is for somebody who's 42. They buy a base $20,000 uh, cancer policy. They have the $1,000 benefit builder and the return and premium rider. And that's still under 30 bucks a month for this client. Now, I'm often asked, hey, what do you look for? Um, how, tell me about your underwriting. Here's, here's some things to really look, look at. You know, if they've ever had AIDS, HIV, or ARC, which is age-related complex, they won't qualify. Now, our look back is five years uh, for cancer and heart attack. Um, the only time we look at height and weight really is when they buy the heart attack and stroke policy. And then... We don't really do any underwriting on um, accident, but we do some things when you look at like the ICU rider, et cetera, we look back uh, a few years on that stuff. But really, as you see, except for AIDS, HIV, and ARC, we don't really look back more than five years. So um, pretty straightforward. It gives you an idea here what some of those, you know, and I'm air quoting, um, landmines are for underwriting. Uh, when you're selling uh, either the base policy or some of the riders. So let's talk quickly about the application. Um, I think we have one of, if not the best, e-app in the industry, and we've had it since way before any of us ever heard of, about COVID-19. Cigna embraces utilizing technology and will continue to long after COVID-19 is just a horrible memory for all of us. Uh, what that does is it, it's put us in good position for what many of you have and maybe are currently still experiencing, which is having to sell over the phone. Um, our e-app is pretty simple. What you do is you go to Agent View, which is our broker uh, uh, website and as you see uh, where that one is uh, you click on Express App 2.0 and then it take you to this screen so before I get into the one two three four um, there's a couple other things that that we don't highlight on this screen but I really like if you've completed or started an application if you look at the bottom where the John and Jane Bill are um, you'd have those listed all there so you can click back in and either look at a completed or started and not completed application. Also on that bottom row where it says FAQs, support, et cetera, 
those are all links. So if you need to, let's say, look at a declinable drug list, height and weight guidelines, et cetera, uh, you can pull those right from there. So, but if you get here and you're just ready to start a new quote, all you do is type in the zip code, date of birth, gender, and then hit quick quote apply. And it's going to take you to a screen like this. If you see uh, where it's got the green check mark where it says can cancer lump sum, actually right there, there'd be every product we offer at Cigna Supplemental Benefits. Uh, what I like about that is let's say you're selling a client a Medicare supplement with us and you're also selling them a cancer, heart attack, and stroke product. You can actually do all those policies at the exact same time in agent view. All you do is click the boxes by whatever products you're selling. It imports any questions for those products into what appears to be one application. And you just go through and you're answering the questions. Uh, for example, if you look at the one, two, three here on this screen, you're going to say what type of coverage, uh, what riders you want, et cetera. You're going to uh, it do the uh, any disclosures or advisements that you need to all that it'd be for any policy whether one or multiple uh, come up right in this area and then you're gonna hit um, submit and it's pretty easy now most people don't like phone verification so if that is you I've got great news for you the only time you have to do a phone verification on our lump sum products is if an individual lump sum is over 50,000. Now, as I told you earlier, most of our policies are somewhere between five and 20 or 25,000 in lump sums per uh, benefit. So most of those don't have to do a phone verification. But if yours are 51,000 or more, up to 75,000, uh, that's when you'd have to do the phone verification call. And th so this really puts it in a nutshell. How do you sell with us? Uh, on this product, it's super easy. You call your customer, they call you, you fill out the Express app, you skip uh, the middle unless your benefit for cancer or heart attack and stroke are over 50,000, and then you submit the app. Now what we do is we get a security question, last four of the uh, uh, social uh, from your client, et cetera. They do not have to even get an email where they have to log in, et cetera, et cetera. So it is super, super, not only agent friendly, but client friendly as well. And last but not least, I like to talk about incentives. Um, we offer uh, a really nice incentive. So if you write at least five apps in a month, uh, of supplemental health, so uh, the, this product or some of our other products, we're going to give you an additional $25 for each application. Now, again, to qualify five in a month, that starts over every month and will go all year. We also, as you see, have some great incentives for Medicare supplement. Most states allow you to get both incentives, not just one or the other, but both the 1,000 uh, leads uh, and $100 per app. And those are on your fourth underwritten uh, apps and as you see FG or N or open enrollment N. And guys, to digress just a tiny bit, we're selling a ton of plan N right now. Over 20% of our business is plan N. Um, and this is just what we offer. So we offer Medicare supplement and individual whole life. Uh, Neither of those are part of the supplemental health bonus or incentive. MedSup, as you know, has its own incentive. But then we've got, besides the uh, cancer, heart attack, and stroke, we've got hospital indemnity, cancer treatment, and accident treatment. So with that, I greatly appreciate your time today. Congratulations for taking you know what now is probably about a half an hour or 45 minutes to out of your busy schedules to maybe um, you know improve uh, yourself learn about a new product or different ways to sell a product spend some time with uh, John uh, one of my best friends at Premier um, and and myself so with that John I am done I'm happy to answer questions if we've got any questions uh, that have been submitted
Thanks, Jim. We've actually got a number of them. Before I go there, I'd like to put in a plug for your organization and this policy because it's interesting how some of these critical illness programs or don't have all the benefits that you've discussed or the ease of getting someone enrolled in the program. And I, I want to commend you on that. It's interesting to note, I had a brother pass away in the last couple of weeks and he had cancer a number of years ago. Um, and then he had a massive stroke about three years ago. And one of the things folks don't realize is not only the expense of the medical portion of it uh, as it occurs, it's also the after effects. And sometimes that brings about dementia and some of the other things that you've mentioned. And having a policy that enables you to tailor the benefit like what you do can make a huge difference in people's lives. And I thank you for bringing that to our attention and making certain that people are aware of the consequences that fall in the future in, in certain circumstances too. The first question that rolled up dealt with where the plans are available. You addressed that through the course of the presentation. I thank you for that. One of the other things that's mentioned here as well is um, the contracting process, a timeline as to what it takes, and you mentioned that being fairly rapid. Would you repeat that for us? Yeah, John, uh, thanks. Uh, so, you know, um, yeah, so our, our our good friends at Premier, you know, um, Premier, just so if, if any of you don't know, Premier is and has for a long time been one of our, and I'm not intending to uh, play on words, but one of our premier partners. Um, and so you just work with your marketer over there uh, for contracting. Typically what happens is they're going to send you our e-contracting and you submit that. It's typically only a few business days. Now every once in a while there is something that, you know, uh, we have to look at that takes a day or two more, but typically you're talking about a three to five day turnaround maximum in most cases on getting appointed. Um, and so, yeah, just work with uh, John and his team and, and the marketers over there and they'll be able to walk you through the process really easily. Awesome, quick and easy to do. We talked about electronic contracting, so that's perfect. It isn't part of the question, but I want to bring up the point that for folks that have worked in the Medicare space and are accustomed to Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, this contract and these programs don't require additional certification, so it really speeds things up as well. The other thing, and, and I think this is, I think we can wrap up with this question, it, it deals with the whole social media aspect of reaching out and prospecting. Are there approved materials that Cigna offers to help us with that? Or what would be your recommendation on how to approach that means of prospecting? That's a great question. So we do have some pre-approved um, marketing on our website. Typically the way it was built for is a like a postcard or a mailer. Um, but however, if you go on agent view and you look at those and you, you think, man, I just like that uh, to be able to put in a social media advertisement. Again, the easiest thing to do is either reach out to your marketer or our agent resource center and uh, talk to them about it. Really, if we, if we aren't changing much, it's going to be a pretty good, pretty easy approval process. Typically, what you would do is you'd build your advertisement, you'd send it uh, through Premier and it, it comes to me and it's reviewed by myself and our marketing and compliance teams. But if all you're doing is taking something that's pre-built and adding contact information in your logo, uh, it, the approval process is, is pretty quick. Uh, usually a couple days, our, our time service for that is a week, but usually unless you're, you're you know, rebuilding the wheel for uh, lack of a better term, it's a pretty quick turnaround. So yeah, those are absolutely available. And uh, if you need help finding it, again, uh, your marketer at Premier can help you and I can help you. Our agent resource team can help you. So there's plenty of help whether you need it with uh, marketing or anything else with the product. Awesome. And the display that you have on the screen of the different brochures that are available for the different products, 
that really helps with the call campaign and everything else that maybe a more traditional for want of a better word way of prospecting as well so that sure. said it looks like we've covered the questions i appreciate the time that you spent with us here today we'll do some finishing up as to why someone would like to work with Cigna through Premier Marketing, and we'll go through that in just a second. But I want to thank you for your presentation and for the information that's delivered in it. Much appreciated, and we will look forward to a presentation we have in a couple weeks on Cigna's MedSup as well, a bit of a plug on that. And we'll also include a link to a, a, a hospital indemnity program that we've discussed with Cigna as well. So, but let's talk about some of the things that we have in play here with Premier that can help you with programs such as heart attack stroke programs from Cigna and other carriers. And we can do so through a number of different means. For folks that look to contract with multiple organizations now or in the future or just want to store their personal information, their agency information, our software system through Surance Bay gives you the opportunity to create an agent profile and then click on different carriers to contract electronically because you're answering the questions that you have in most of the standard contracting situations where this allows you to do things completely compliantly and much as what we see with applications for coverages that we're taking now through eApps, a big push on that and for a good reason and for the same reason in many circumstances here you have some autofill features but it also bypasses one of the biggest challenges that we have when it comes to enrollments or contracting, and that's our handwriting. So it gives us an opportunity to do so. Many of the carriers also have direct electronic links. that This helps us access that information. And for those carriers that don't participate in this, we have other means to make certain that you're contracted as quickly as possible. We also offer discounted errors and admissions coverage for our qualified agents, and this is a program you own. So it satisfies the requirement that most of the carriers have for errors and admissions coverage. It's not like being added to a blanket policy uh, of a, a marketing hierarchy for one product. It covers you across the board and makes certain that you own that as well as your independent status as an agent. So a great way to make certain that you're protecting yourself financially and satisfying the requirement for contracting with the vast majority of carriers. We also offer discounted continuing education courses for folks to make certain that their license stay in play uh, through our association with WebCE and give you an opportunity to add to your own benefit package through a modified guarantee issued disability income program where you're paid a commission on a product for your own protection. We also as make available as today's presentation is being recorded. Past presentations are out there uh, on our website at premiersmi.com or on our YouTube channel that gives you an opportunity to access past presentations that deal with products such as today, carrier offerings, uh, different marketing programs and initiatives that are there for you 24 seven through those websites that are posted. We also have available for you at no cost for contracted agents, our Medicare Center program, which incorporates in three different quoting engines through a singular logon, has a CRM available as part of that process so you can efficiently market to your prospects and clients and gives you the opportunity to compare Medicare Advantage or PDP programs through search engines or, or quoting engines, I should say, that are powered by Connecture and Sunfire. And then of course, the CSG actuarial program is available through this uh, program as well. And it's a great way for you to also do a fill in the gap situation for different programs. Particularly if you run into a household that has Medicare Advantage, it enables you to fill in the gaps for the hospital coverage through uh, the addition of a HIP program. And we'll make certain that a short tutorial for that is provided for you as part of today's follow-up. When we also 
take into consideration the different programs that are out there. We want to make certain that you're aware of all the compensation that is available to you through the different carriers in our organization. And while some programs do not have a uh, ability to add to the compensation, such as Medicare Advantage and PDP programs, where the max uh, compensation for those programs are set by the government, Carriers such as today's Cigna program and other ancillary programs do help with other incentives that you are eligible for possibly and different carrier trips as well. And all of that activity also helps you qualify for Premier's incentive programs, which this last year was to be a cruise like many of the different incentives out there. Uh, a little thing called COVID-19 kind of interfered. And then so we made certain that the agents that qualified at different levels were compensated for their efforts. And that turned into a nice cash bonus for many agents affiliated with our organization. We also want to make certain that you have different programs available to you to market. So we have contact lists available for you that are butted up against do not call, either at discounted rates or at no cost at all to you, depending upon your contracting situation. But we also want to make certain that we help in the procurement of organic leads as well through community-based programs. So the different retail programs that are out there either through the Walmart initiative or different carrier type of programs that are directed by uh, different insurance companies, we want to make certain that those programs are not only available to you during open enrollment, the annual election period, I should say, but also a continuation of that effort year-round so you can benefit from the time and dollars that you're investing in that as well. But we also look to centers of influence in the community with programs to help you market to and through faith-based organizations and the folks that are actually delivering the care on the programs that we're offering, those different providers that are out there. And so we have specific programs set up to help you engage that population, be it live or be it virtual. So some different things that are out there, including presentations on different topics that can be very helpful for you. Many of the carriers also generate prospects that are shared with agents that are working with them. Most commonly during AEP, the Medicare Advantage and PDP carriers are very uh, forth upfront with that. Um, and many of them, if, particularly if you are working in the dual special needs area, they may have programs available to help you with LEAD programs throughout the year. So we want to make certain that we make available to you the local management of those different programs so you can participate in that type of lead initiative. We do have internet lead programs and direct mail support as well, and that includes the mail programs that are available uh, on a discounted basis based on production. So it's an opportunity for you to qualify for a couple of different ways of direct mail through the health programs and through the final expense programs, two separate programs that give you an opportunity to deliver upon a tried and true way of reaching prospects, and that's through direct mail. And the ability to do so consistently is where you really see the benefit of these programs simply because it's consistent. It's like everything else. It's like an exercise program. You exercise once in a while, you feel the pain, you don't see a lot of results. If you do things consistently, that's where you see a true return on your investment, on your time and on your dollars. We do so through a vetted list of preferred lead vendors because we want to make certain that the information that is being sent on your behalf is in compliance and make certain that we protect you in that fashion. We also have programs for those that really need an immediate boost of uh, folks that they can speak to and they look to the mail campaigns for that. And rather than wait for a direct mail campaign that you direct, which is where you get the really hot leads, that takes a little bit of time for that to be set up, sent out, and for you to get a response, two to three weeks. Many folks, when they're looking for a lead, they want it quickly. And so we have a couple of different direct mail response campaigns where you can actually purchase leads that have come back, never been worked, direct mail responses, um, and they're available for you uh, on a varying basis, depending upon where you live and at varying costs, 
because of the laws of supply and demand in that circumstance. It does give you, however, people that are raising their hands for a particular program and gives you the ability to reach out and contact them compliantly. Not like some of the robo dials we're all getting for different programs in that in that area. We also have an internet leads program through Facebook that gives you an opportunity to access leads in a very quick fashion there as well for final expense and different Medicare categories. A lot of that is centered on Medicare supplements, which can bring about a full discussion of the options that they have as well. So some different programs that are out there to help you get in front of folks to offer programs such as Cigna's heart attack and cancer heart attack and stroke program. And while I have stalled as long as I can, it appears our technical difficulties have continued for the uh, presentation on, on Jim's part, and I apologize for that. But what we will do is make certain that we go through and record that section as well and send that out to all of you to have that link to that recording so you can go through and see the benefits of this program. I was really excited about it, and I apologize for the challenges that we have and the delivery of it, but it is there for you uh, as part of the offerings that we make. And we'll make certain that you have that information in as timely a fashion as possible. I'm not certain how, uh, what challenges have come about, but I wholeheartedly apologize uh, for not having it for you as we promised. All that said and done, these types of programs can be a valuable way for you to reach out and not only reinforce the business that you have in play, completing the needs for these different programs, but it also gives you the opportunity to have another way of creating an income stream for you and your agency, cementing the relationship that you have with current customers, creating new ones through the recognition of needs for programs uh, such as critical illness plans. All that said and done, once again, ending on an apology. I'm not going to delay any longer. Um, We'll make certain that we re-record a portion of today's program so you have that as well. And we thank you for the time that you've invested with us here today. I apologize, it's not a full delivery of the information that we were looking to present. Uh, however, we'll rectify that. You can reach us either in a response to the follow-up that we'll send out when we have these issues resolved, but you can also reach out to us through our toll-free number, 1-800-365-8208 for different information about today's program, including contracting and commission information, which isn't normally delivered on presentations such as today, but also through our website at premiersmi.com. We'll make certain that we deliver upon that information as quickly as possible. Once again, my apologies. We thank you for the time that you've invested. We realize that's your most valuable resource, and I've stalled in law enough. So let's check and see if there are some questions I can cover, perhaps. Yes, we will make certain that we send the information out to everybody, and the follow-up will come today uh, for you. Um, and we'll do so as, as quickly as possible. We'll make certain we find out what the challenges happen to be, and we take care of it for you. All that said and done, Thank you once again for joining us, uh, and we look forward to visiting with you in the very near future. Thanks so much, and in the meantime, good selling.